Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, thanks for coming back for another video. Uh, if you're clicking on this, it's because you've seen the thumbnail and that is what to do if you're ever in a motorcycle accident. And it's not something um, generally is brought up a whole lot except for, you know, when it happens to you or a loved one or a brother or, you know, anybody, you know, in, in your community. It's not generally brought up before the accident takes place, right? So I kind of wanted to do a quick little video um, with you guys and you know, kind of put that bug in your ear. Have you guys ever thought about what you would do if you were ever in a motorcycle accident, whether you were at fault or somebody else was at fault, another uh, motorist, whether they're on a bike or in a car, if they turned in front of you, rear-ended you while you were stopped at a light, any, any of those instances, have you thought about what you would do if, God forbid, you were in an accident? And the reason I wanted to bring up this video and make this video is because just this year alone, I've lost a few people uh, due to motorcycle accidents. Um, lost a lot of uh, good people in our community, um, a few of which were good friends of mine. And um, some of them, um, it was unavoidable. Others, it was avoidable. But then there were other cases of motorcycle accidents where, thank God, um, they survived. Um, so I, I wanted to just kind of, you know, go over this um, and just ask you, like, what is your first course of action when you're in a, a motorcycle accident? You know, we have certain things that help mitigate our safety. Um, to help keep us more protected in the event of an accident. You know, we wear helmets, um, leathers, you know, vests, you know, things like that, that, that can help um, if we're ever in an accident. But have you ever thought about who do you call when you're in an accident? And honestly, I'm not just saying this because, um, were sponsored and affiliated with Law Tigers Utah. They are hands down the best option for you to contact if you're ever in a motorcycle accident. Bar none, like they should be one of the first people you call when you're in a motorcycle accident because they specialize in motorcycle related instances and they will work tirelessly nonstop to make sure your needs are met and you're taken care of. I've seen it firsthand with, with people that I care about. I've seen it firsthand with people in our community that I didn't know, but they are a great company and a great group of people to have your back when you need it the most. Seriously, reach out, don't hesitate, contact Law Tigers. Doesn't matter what state you're in, whether you're watching this from Wisconsin, whether you're watching this from Florida, from New York, New Jersey, the West Coast, California, Oregon, Utah, Nevada, I guarantee they have a location nearest to you. Reach out, contact the Law Tigers. Don't contact the run-of-the-mill attorney that has no idea what they're doing when it comes to motorcycle-related accidents. You will be left shorthanded if you contact just a basic attorney that has zero idea about motorcycle laws, motorcycle related instances. Don't shortchange yourself. Make sure you are covered 100%. Contact the Law Tigers. I promise you, you will not regret it. You will be taken care of. They will have your back from start to finish. From the moment you make that phone call till long after everything's done, the dust is settled, even afterwards, I guarantee you, they will be following up with you months down the road to check up on you, to see how you're doing. If you're in Utah, contact Scott Hendrickson. Here's his information, Law Tigers, Utah. And again, it doesn't even have to be 
the Utah organization. If you're based somewhere else, contact them. It's a no-brainer. Like, would you would you rather have an attorney that dabbles in, you know, uh, malpractice lawsuits, or would you rather have somebody whose entire focus is motorcycle related? For me, I'm putting my money on the motorcycle related guys because they're the ones who understand what you're going through. Hell, probably some of them have been in accidents themselves. A lot of those guys and girls that run the Law Tigers locations are all riders just like us. You do not want to go up against insurance companies by yourself. You want an advocate on your side and an advocate that rides and knows exactly what you're going through. It's something that's not talked about a lot, but needs to be made aware. So you guys know what your options are. Contact the Law Tigers. I hope you never need to, but in the instance you do, they're your best bet. Much love, guys. I'll see you soon, and I'll see you on the next one. We'll see you soon, guys. Much love. Peace.